Now I introduce a fitted Q iteration. Fitted Q iteration is a model free algorithm to find the optimal policy from a set of uh, four tuple. Uh, this is the current state, and this action taken at the current state and receive a reward. Then the uh, agent moves from its current state to the next state. For example, uh, we have a, a performance agent, such as a teacher or expert. Without this uh, environment information, a performance agent can move from its current state and takes this uh, action A and then moves from a current state to the next state as a prime and receive this uh, <coughs> reward. A learning agent learn from uh, this experience through a uh, key learning. And then uh, it can start from uh, any new state, select the optimal policy, move from uh, moves from uh, his uh, current state to the next state, receive the maximum reward. Fated uh, key iteration is used to find the from this experience, find the optimal policy. For example, this is the experience, that's our for table. Since then, you know, we know this is for table. And then uh, we know uh, this, is, this is the current state and this is the action. And we know this uh, reward R and we know this uh, next state. So use the key learning, we try to find this, uh, uh, this target uh, Q value by change this uh, uh, action U, make this uh, uh, Q value is a maximum. So based on the based on the experience uh, through this uh, uh, Q learning, we find the distribution of the approximation of a Q function is O. Once we have this uh, distribution of the O, that means for given state and action, we know the Q value. And then I uh, use the regression method, we can find you know, uh, Q at uh, a given state and the action. Once we have this, uh, uh, this uh, Q distribution, this is used as the approximation of the true Q value. Because this, uh, this state and, uh, and the action is uh, any given value. So then now we can use this uh, Q as the uh, put here, we use the Q learning again to get a new O. From new O, we use the regression to get a new Q. And uh, in this way, we finally get the convergent uh, Q value distribution. From this uh, convergent Q value distribution, we can find the optimal policy. After all, uh, First step, uh, we uh, introduce the uh, disturbance, like a noise for this uh, generative model. You know, otherwise the model will be uh, overfitting. We use this uh, R and then uh, we generate the first uh, O, distribution of the O. From this O, this output, we can uh, use the regression method to generate the first uh, uh, Q. Uh, value, you know, that is the approximation of the true v Q value. And then uh, we use this Q value to uh, use through the Q learning, get the new distribution of this O and so on. Step by step, finally we get the convergence. We get the convergence, that means uh, uh, we know this uh, a Q value for given state S and action A. That means to start from this uh, state. And then uh, uh, take the uh, agent to take this uh, optimal policy. You know, you know, this is the optimal Q value function. And then uh, because this is a Q function, we know uh, what's the next state 
and uh, what's the reward received from uh, the, the, the environment. For more details, please check with this reference. Thank you, Mike.